Number 36, letter A. What is the average useful power output of a person who does 6 times 10 to the 6 joules of useful work in 8 hours? All right. So basically, I need to calculate power, and I know work, right? And I know time. So do we know a formula that relates these three variables? And we do, right over here on the side, right on the right-hand side. Here it is. So let's write it down. So we know that the power will be equal to the work done divided by the time in which it's performed. Now, remember, work has a unit of joule, and time has a value of seconds, okay? And that's what a watt is, all right? So for letter A here, all we have to do is basically plug in these values, all right? The only thing, though, is that the watts are given to us in joules, so that's nice, right? Six times 10 to the six joules, but the time is in hours. And remember, my time value has to be in seconds down here, okay? So all we have to do is a simple conversion, right? So we got eight hours, eight hours, and we got to convert that into seconds. So remember that there are 3,600 seconds in one hour, okay? So the hours cancel. Just have to do a quick multiplication. So eight times 3,600, and that leaves us with 28,800, okay? So 28,800 seconds, all right? Now that will be the denominator value. So let's take that value and now plug it in. So we've got 28,800, okay? And then I'll draw like little arrows here to show the work, okay? And then we can simply do the division now, right? So we know that it's six times 10 to the six divided by 28,800. Then we get a value of about 208, right? So here we get a value of 208 um, watts, okay? You can leave it as joules per second, but remember joule per second is really a watt. Okay, so that would be the final answer for A. Let's take a look now at letter B. So working at this particular rate, how long will it take this person to lift 2,000 kilograms of bricks, 1.5 meters, to a platform? All right, so now I'm thinking about, well, okay, so they're asking me time, right? And they're giving me a value now, they're saying that this person lifting a certain mass over a certain distance. So, hmm, how are... How is mass related to uh, distance, right? Or moving a certain weight over a certain, um, you know, a certain uh, distance. It's work, right? Take a look over here on the right-hand side. It's just work, okay? And it takes work to move a certain mass, right? Remember, it has a weight to it, all right? It has a certain uh, weight to it, a certain distance. So if I were to now look at letter B, right? And I were to think about, uh, you know, just detailing a very quick free body diagram. You know, we have this weight pulling down. Oops, we have the weight pointing straight down, right? And the weight would be equal to the mass multiplied by gravity. So in this particular case, the mass was 2000, right? Kilograms, and then the gravitational force, gravitational acceleration 9.80. So when I do that, the total weight of what has to be lifted is now going to be 2,000 times 9.8. So 19,600, right? 19,600 newtons. Okay. So this is the now weight of that mass of 2,000 kilograms. And now what has to be done is this weight has to be moved, right? So essentially what we have to do now to this weight is we have to apply a force that now pushes it on up, all right? So we got to apply an equal but opposite force, all right? And we have to lift it, and then the distance it's going to go up is going to be 1.50, 1 1.50 meters, all right? So this is essentially the force exerted, and this is the distance. And therefore, now we know that work, right, is equal to force times distance times the cosine of the angle, right, between the force vector and the distance vector. Remember, the force applied to this weight was directly up, and the distance that it was moved is up, All right? So the cosine, the angle here is zero. So therefore, the work done will be equal to the force of 19,600 newtons multiplied by the distance that that um, weight had to be lifted of 1.5 meters times the cosine of zero, which is just a value of one. So the work here will equal, let's calculate, uh, 19,600 times 
So we need 29,000, 29,400 joules, all right, of energy, of work that had to be exerted, all right? So now here's the question. It now is asking us how long will it take? So remember, beforehand I said to mention, uh, I, I mentioned that you want to think about watts as being joule per second. Okay, so I can rewrite this as 200 and eight joules per second. And now we know that we have to exert this many units of energy in order to lift that weight up. So now therefore what I can do is I can think through dimensional analysis and I have this value and I have this value and somehow I have to combine these two values, right? So that it yields a time, okay? So you can do this via dimensional analysis, or you can basically reuse this particular formula on the right-hand side. Really doesn't matter, all right? Dimensional analysis, you would, I'll, I'll explain that way, but I'll use the formula to calculate. So basically you, you would want to flip this, so it'd be one second over 208 joules, then multiply that by this value, 29,400 joules, and notice the joules would cancel, and you're left with seconds. So it's really 29,400 divided by 208. I know my handwriting slot because I'm doing that quickly. But now if you wanted to do it with the power formula, power is equal to work over time. The power was 208 watts. We found that before. The work that had to be performed was 29,400. And we're calculating the time. And guess what? If I'm looking to solve this algebraically, time then is equal to 29,400 over 208, which is literally what we said before using dimensional analysis. All right, so let's do that. 29,400 divided by 208 comes out to be about 141. All right, so the time now would be, so 100, uh, where should I write this? I'm just going to write it right above here. My work is a little circular here, I apologize. 141 seconds, all right? So that would be then the um, amount of time it would take to lift that amount of mass, assuming that um, their power outputs are what we're given, all right? So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please remember to hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, hit that like button too. I would appreciate that so much. Thank you.